for a long time I'd been asking myself if I could make a meaningful portrait of a person through something that was important to them. And the question that I came to is what is irreplaceable to you? I think this exhibit raises themes that uh, are not only central to the humanities classroom, which we talk about every day on Princeton's campus, but to human life and ways of knowing the world. And they ask us questions about home and belonging and isolation, democracy and inequality. And all through the medium of photography, um, the written word, and thinking about material objects. So it's wonderful that we're able to kind of bring those conversations out into the larger public and in collaboration with our community partners. I started with that thesis of asking the question, what is irreplaceable to you, to see what people would share and, and to invite them to think about things that were beyond objects. And so we engage in a number of different levels and they are spending time thinking about what they're gonna share with me they also participate by writing a short piece of what it is that they've shared, their story. And then they also engage in the level of connecting other people to the project. Hi, I'm Tony. I've been a Princeton police officer for six years. And as a part of this project, I have chose my identity as what is irreplaceable to me. So obviously last year was very hard for everyone, you know, not only the pandemic, but we're, we're all sitting at home. Then the events of George Floyd happen. And as a law enforcement officer, right, and as a, a woman of color, I think that was the turning point for me to remove the filter and, and be my full authentic self. I felt like I could no longer be a bystander. So when Robin came to me with, with the project, she gave me a platform to be vocal, right? And be vocal in the middle of Princeton where you really, you can't ignore it. There was never anything tangible that I ever considered for this project. It was always the dichotomy of, of my life, right? Because people, they expect you to be one way just on the surface, just, just because of how I look. It gets down to things that we value, what is key to making us human. Sometimes it's about memory and sometimes it's about something that we identify with as ourselves. If we all allowed others to see our vulnerabilities, we would really see that we're not very different and we should be able to come together behind them and encourage and help and listen, you know, to each other's struggles. Just like this exhibit, the Humanities Council aims to explore the richness of the human experience.